this is Philip at Chateau Avensac, and I am in the entrance hall, and behind me is the door to the billiard room slash reception room. So I think it's pretty obvious why this is called the billiard room. It was very popular in the 19th century for chateaus to have billiard tables. And this is a 19th century billiard table. It might have been installed shortly after the house was uh, built. It has this really lovely inlay wood marquetry. It goes around all the way around the table, so all four sides. And you will note that the table doesn't have pockets. Because in French billiards, you don't try to eliminate balls, but you are just hitting your ball with the cue, and then you just have to hit the other player's ball and the red ball to score points, and you play to a certain number of points. So it's a different system of play. The table is incredibly heavy. It's been here the whole time. We've never moved it. And we are planning to move it upstairs, but the little buttons here on the sides, these actually come out, and you can take the table apart and it will actually come apart. And under the felt are sheets of slate, which is part of the reason it's so heavy, and those can actually be removed. I'm told that there might actually be multiple pieces of slate, so you can take them out in pieces and then move the table. This room is gonna become the reception room, and it's really gonna be an extension of the entrance hall where it passes directly through to the back terrace. So when the door that I came through is open and the front door is open and this door is open. It's a straight shot through out to the back terrace into the view. It's a great place where we can uh, greet our guests and um, I might put some chairs and maybe some desks, a small desk in here. If someone needs to work for a little bit and it's just a pleasant little room for that. There was in the house when we were looking at it originally a Murano glass chandelier. It was really very pretty. It was not part of the purchase of the house and it wasn't part of the furniture purchase that we made after we, uh, when, we were, when we were buying the house, which was a shame because it was really very pretty. Um, but at some point we'll find something to replace it and that would be really lovely in this room. This room has six doors, so it's really a glorified hallway. The door we're looking at directly in front of us is the one I walk through that get here from the entrance hall. And the doors on each side of that are actually both closets. To the left of me, this door goes into the salon. And on the other side, the door that's now behind me, as I'll move over, goes into the library. Now, we do suspect that when the house was built, the two doors on the left and the right were actually doors going into those respective rooms. So the left would have been into the salon and the right into the library and they would have been a uh, system of symmetry for the doors. Uh, at some point when the house was redecorated at the end of the 19th century, I suspect that they were closed off and then those spaces in the walls were made into closets. We are thinking that at some point we'll actually reopen the entrance into the salon from this door. So the salon will have entrances um, through both doors and it'll create a little bit of a better flow. And when you see the salon, you'll see that it's a little bit of a dead end you, to get into it. It feels like it doesn't really go anyway, going to go anywhere, and this will kind of create a nice circular flow. You can also see that the walls are bare because we've already stripped the wallpaper. And, but this room had a red wallpaper of just a small emblem design and a rather ornate border at the top. This has been the billiard room or in French, la salle de billard, that will eventually become the reception room, la salle de reception. We are entering the library from the reception room. And as I go into the library, I realize I didn't open up the shutters, and so it's a little dark. And there's no views. So I'm gonna do, open the shutters, so I'll be back. Now the French word for library is Bibliothèque, which is a fun word to say, bibliothèque. Uh, and there is a word, librairie in French, but it actually means bookstore. So, a little fun fact. All right, welcome to the library. I've entered from the Salle de Reception, and, and that's the door I just walked through. So behind where right now we have a TV, <laughs> that would be the door going into the reception room. 
that's been closed up and now met on the reception room side is a closet. This room was clearly redressed in the 19th century. In the later part of the 19th century, it has a very Victorian flair to it, particularly the fireplace and the bookshelves. And it was probably at that time that that door was sealed up. We suspect that there may also have been a door behind the bookcase going into the dining room, which is this door here goes into the dining room. And in the winter, this was one of the warmest rooms in the house because it has two sets of French doors uh, out onto the back terrace. It gets a lot of light. In fact, in the summer, it's actually too much light. It heats up the room too much. But in the winter, it actually warms the room beautifully, even when it's below freezing outside. During the day, this room is actually quite comfortable. This portrait that is on the wall is the grandson. Let's see if we can get a little better lighting is the grandson of the count who built this house in 1820. This is the last Count de Puy who lived in the house. He died in 1947, and he was living in the house when he died. So his grandfather's in the entrance wall, and he presides over the library. The books in the library are part of the purchases we made when we bought the furnishings left in the house. So all of these books, uh, are, were here, and many of these books are probably uh, belong to the Count de Puy. And in fact, sort of a recent feature we discovered, many of the books have this little symbol on them. It is a, let's see if we get it in there a little bit. It is uh, two peas back to back with a crown between them, and that crown specifically has 19 points with pearls on the end. This uh, plaster cast is the crest of the Count de Puy. Uh, it has the coronal crown, the crown of the Count, uh, with the nine points. I think it's nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, uh, nine. There's one in the end. Uh, the crown actually had 16, but when it's depicted, they just show the facing nine. And it's emblem of the lions and the crows, and then the lion climbing the hill. And what's interesting is in one of the books in the library, which is this book I have open, this is a history of the genealogy of the families, the noble families of France. And sure enough, there is a description of the family of de Puy, which was the count who built the house in 1820, and with their um, crest, and it's the same crest that we see in the plaster. You might notice in in this room, the ceiling is not beamed, or we don't see the beams. The ceiling is hung below the beams. In all the other principal rooms, the ceiling, you see the beams. And this one is different. At some point, there was a problem in the ceiling above us. And we had taken up the floor in the room above this one. And you actually can see remnants of the original ceiling that was between the beams, so the beams were exposed and now the new ceiling that we see here. We don't know when this was done. This might have been part of the renovation in the late uh, 19th century. The problem was structural. There was obviously a beam that was removed uh, and it was replaced. So we know that there must have been some kind of problem in that room. And in fact, the reason we took up the floor is the room had a very pronounced uh, dip in it, very pronounced. So we took it up to try and understand to make sure there wasn't some more significant uh, structural issue. This room also has access through this door on the right to the bedroom that's on the behind the library. It's in the corner of the house. And also through this little door, which goes to kind of a little back vestibule, uh, which heads towards the butler's pantry. A quick update. I'm in the library and this is just about uh, maybe two weeks after my last video in the library. Uh, we've been clearing out, I, I say we, um, <laughs> Ben and Stephen have been clearing out the library uh, in preparation for electrical and plumbing work that's coming through. And as part of that, they have been uh, taking out this old archway. So let's take a look. Okay, you can see here the uh, opened up archway. So this uh, was filled in and there was just a small door. Uh, basically mirroring what's on the right hand side now, right here. There was a door just like that and the wall was just completely flat. So the arch is to, original to the first construction of the house 
And when this room was remodeled at the end of 19th century, we believe that it was filled in and the small door was put there in place. So just in the last week, I think this was less than a week ago, uh, Ben and Stephen uh, took out the filled in portion to reveal the archway. Now you may notice <laughs> that the bookcase partially covers that entrance. And so what's gonna happen? This door is actually gonna get removed. This door goes into a bedroom that's right behind uh, the bookcase. And then the bookcase is gonna slide down so that the archway will be uh, fully exposed. This archway leads into just a small vestibule. And in this vestibule, it's just a small four-sided space is uh, has the archway on one side, which I'm now standing in. There's a door to a bathroom right in front of me. There's double doors into that same bedroom. So this will become just the main entrance into that bedroom. And then there's a small door into the butler's pantry. This bathroom door is gonna be sealed up and closed. The bedroom has a entrance into the bathroom already. So that will just become the uh, entrance to that bathroom. So it will just, this bathroom will just be for, just for whoever's staying in the bedroom. Uh, this archway will be cleaned up. Uh, all these pipes are gonna be removed. This is part of the old heating system. So all this is coming out and all get cleaned up. And we're gonna do something interesting with this little door here into the butler's pantry, something that hides the door or just, uh, you know, makes it a little less obvious. It'll still be there. It'll still be a way to get into the butler's pantry. So I just wanted to give you a quick update on the per work that's progressing here. Hi, this is Philip at Chateau Avensac, and I am in the library. This is about a week later than my last video, uh, where I was showing the arch behind me that we have opened up, which is behind this bookshelf. And this week, uh, we've started emptying out the books because these bookshelves are going to be moved out of the library uh, to make way for the uh, electricity and plumbing that's going on. I am standing in the same spot <laughs> I was just standing before, uh, and you can see that we have all these boxes and we are loading them up with the books. And in each one, you can see there's a piece of paper and marking which books are in this box and where they were in the bookshelf so that when we unpack them, we can put them back where they were. They were organized uh, in a nice way, so we want to just maintain that. Um, these bookshelves are going to come taken apart. The tops will come off the bottom and they'll actually get moved into the dining room next door so that they can make way to do the electrical and plumbing work necessary in this room. There's also parts of this floor are going to be coming up to make way for some evacuation pipes for plumbing. And so we have to get this all cleared out. So these box constitute one bookshelf. <laughs> uh, we're not filling them very tightly uh, to just make it easier to move them around because they do get rather heavy. And then we still have this bookshelf yet to do. I say we. Uh, actually, our friend Ev has been working on this. So, well, thank you, Ev. It's <laughs> a lot of work. Hi, this is Philip at Chateau Avensac, and I'm in the library. And this is another... <laughs> I think my third library update. So much has been going on in the library. Every time I come here, it, it's different. So you can see behind me the bookshelves, but the other bookshelves in the room actually have been removed. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is the bookshelf that was just behind me. And you can see it's still full of books. We had removed all the other books and the bookcases from the other wall. And as you can see, now the archway is fully exposed. The, the bookcase partially covered that. In fact, you can see right here where the painting is on the baseboard. That's where the bookshelf ended. So that archway actually was completely filled in and had a small door in it, very similar to the door that's on the right. And we had opened that up and now removed the bookcase so it's fully exposed. And of course, behind the bookcase, we have what is maybe the original wallpaper from this room when the house was built. It is just one layer. There's no wallpaper behind it. I don't know if the bells were just painted before uh, and then it was later papered or if it was papered when the house was built. But this is probably not, you know, some kind of 19th century wallpaper. Uh, it's a very delicate, you can see like if you just rub your finger across it, the white it starts to come off. Uh, we're gonna document the wallpaper, get some better photographs of it 
and maybe we use some of the design or the motifs for future decoration in the room or in some other rooms. The bookcase will come back and it will be moved over. So instead of ending here where it was before, it will come to about here and it will actually cover up that door. That door is going to be removed and in that space will be a closet for the bedroom on the other side and the archway will be fully exposed into that little vestibule. So these are the changes that have been happening in the library. Honestly, just a couple days ago, the bookcases uh, were removed from the room. Thank you for watching. Please leave comments, ideas, thoughts in the comment section of the video. We always appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs>